Good morning or afternoon, whatever the case may be. Today, I would like to talk about the staff. No, not that type of staff. I ain't talking about that type of staff. I'm talking about the music staff. That's better. The music staff is five lines and four spaces that people use to write music on. So you have five lines and you have four spaces in between those lines that people use to put the half note, the whole note, the quarter note, the eighth note, all those type of notes. But we'll get to that pretty soon. Now, another thing you need to know about are the bar lines. Let me tell you a little something about the bar lines. Now, the bar lines are straight vertical lines that break up the staff into sections called measures. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> I didn't think so. Now, the measure, it has a specific number of beats that they tell you about at the beginning of the song through a device called time signature. And we're gonna get to that pretty soon as well. Well, 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 let me go over it a little bit. The way I explain time signatures is like this. Okay, we have two numbers. The top number, you have the bottom number. The top number will tell you how many beats you're gonna do per measure, or how many beats you're gonna sing per measure. So in this case, you'll have like, if we're saying like four beats, it'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, that's the top number. The bottom number will tell you what note will get the beat. And in this case, whenever you have time signatures, um, the quarter note will always equal four. So if you have the top note, which is four, and you have the bottom note, which is four, you have four, four, and that equals the time signature for the whole song. Now, what I need to tell you, I need to tell you something about the treble clef, something called the treble clef and the bass clef. Now, the treble clef deals with the upper voices. The bass clef deals with the lower voices. Now, the treble clef has more of a like and symbol, you know, but the bass clef has a little bit of a C. So that's the way you know that it's a treble clef is like, it looks like this. And then you have the bass clef, which looks like this. Mm, and you have two dots. So that's the treble clef and you have the bass clef. Now, if you put the treble clef on one staff and the bass clef on another staff, you have two staffs together joined by a bracket. That is called the grand staff. Got it? Now I'm going to see how much you know. I don't know if you know this. You probably don't know it. Let's see how much we remember. Now, what is this? <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right, now let's see if you remember this. Okay, what is this? Hmm, bar line. Very good, very good, very good. Now, tell me what clef is this? Hmm, treble clef. Very good, very good. Now, tell me what clef this is. Bass clef, you sure about that? Are you positive about that? Good, you're right. <laughs> okay, now, if you have a treble clef on the top, you have a bass clef on the bottom, and you have a bracket joining them, what is that called? Ah, very good, grand staff. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Ta-ta for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.